Why do elderly people have a distinctive unpleasant smell? 99% of people don't know. Hey there. Let me ask you something. Have you ever walked into a room and immediately noticed a distinct, sometimes unpleasant smell that you couldn't quite place? Maybe it was at a nursing home or during a visit to a grandparent's house. At first, you probably didn't think much of it. Just something to shrug off, right? But what if I told you that this scent, often associated with older people, isn't as simple as just bad hygiene or poor care? In fact, most people don't even know the real reason behind this distinctive smell that many wrongly assume is an inevitable part of growing old. It's something that's largely misunderstood, and the truth is, 99% of people have no idea what's really going on. Here's the deal. That smell, while it might seem off-putting to some, is actually the result of some fascinating natural changes that happen to our bodies as we age. It's not about cleanliness or neglect. It's the biology of aging. And in this video, we're going to break down exactly why this happens, how it's connected to the chemicals our bodies release, and why it's something that's often misunderstood. But beyond the science, I'm here to challenge how we, as a society, view aging. So many people treat this elderly scent like it's something gross, something to hide. But what if it's just another part of the incredible journey of getting older? Stick with me, because by the end of this video, you'll have a whole new perspective on what's really going on and why it's high time we give our elderly loved ones, no matter their smell, more empathy and respect. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming. Let's dive in. Part 1. Understanding the Aging Process All right, let's start with the basics. As we get older, our bodies go through a ton of changes, some big, some small, and many of them happening without us even noticing. But some of these shifts are key to understanding why elderly people can have that distinctive odor. As we age, the structure of our skin changes. Our skin becomes thinner and less elastic, and it produces fewer oils. Normally, these oils act as a protective layer, but as production slows down, our skin loses its moisture. This dryness can lead to a buildup of bacteria, which interacts with sweat and oils on the skin, contributing to the odor we notice in older adults. But it's not just about the skin. Our sweat glands and sebaceous glands, the ones responsible for producing oils, work differently when we get older. Sweat production generally decreases with age, so the body doesn't release sweat in the same way it did when we were younger. This can lead to a different kind of body odor, not because the body is dirty, but because the normal processes have slowed down. So, it's not as much about cleanliness, it's about the biology of aging. A slowdown of bodily functions leads to these changes, including the scent many people associate with older adults. Part 2. The Science of Smell Now let's dive into the actual science of smell. It's easy to think of odor as just bad or off-putting, but there's more to it than that. The human sense of smell is a complex, fascinating system, and when we smell something, it's actually our brain's way of processing chemicals released into the air. As we age, our bodies release a compound called 2 non -anol. This compound is often the culprit behind that elderly smell you've heard about. It's a natural byproduct of the oxidation of fatty acids on our skin, something that happens more frequently as we get older. The more 2 non -anol our bodies produce, the stronger this scent becomes. But here's the thing. The presence of 2 non -anol doesn't mean something is wrong. In fact, it's a completely normal and natural part of aging. The reason you notice it more as people age is simply because their bodies produce more of it. And while it might smell different from the scents we associate with youth, it's just another chemical change. It's part of the body's journey as it grows older. Part 3. The Influence of Hormonal Changes Hormonal changes play a huge role in how we age and in how we smell as we get older. If you've ever been around teenagers, you know all too well how hormones can change the way a person smells, right? Well, the same thing happens with aging, except in reverse. As we get older, there's a natural decline in certain hormones, like estrogen and testosterone. These hormones influence how we sweat, how our skin reacts, and yes, how we smell. In fact, 
the decrease in estrogen is linked to a decrease in the production of body odors, which is why older adults often smell different from younger ones. Think of it like this. Hormones act as a sort of regulator in the body. When they decline, many of the body's systems, including those that influence body odor, shift. This means that, as we get older, we may not sweat as much, and the oils on our skin are different, leading to that subtle shift in scent. Again, it's not a bad thing, just another part of getting older. Part 4. Medications and their impact on odor. Here's where things get a little more complicated. As we age, we often find ourselves taking medications, lots of medications. And while these drugs are helping with health conditions, they can also impact how we smell. For instance, certain medications can cause dry mouth, which makes the breath smell different. Some medications can also affect sweat production, leading to a change in body odor. Others, like antibiotics or antidepressants, can cause alterations in the bacterial makeup of our bodies. All of this can contribute to that familiar, but often misunderstood scent associated with older adults. It's important to recognize that medications are a huge factor. The elderly often take drugs to manage chronic conditions, like diabetes, heart disease, and even neurological disorders, which can all have side effects that impact body odor. And while it might seem like just another thing to complain about, the reality is, it's part of the necessary process of managing one's health. Part 5. Lifestyle Factors and Environment Now, let's talk about environment and lifestyle. If you've ever visited a senior living facility or spent time with an elderly relative, you might have noticed that the environment plays a significant role in body odor. Poor ventilation, limited access to fresh air, and the challenges of maintaining daily hygiene in a facility can all contribute to stronger odors. But the most significant lifestyle factor, diet. The foods we eat, especially as we age, can change how we smell. Spicy foods, alcohol, garlic, and coffee can alter the compounds in our sweat and breath. But here's the thing. As we age, our bodies metabolize food differently. The body's ability to break down certain substances slows down, which can cause odors to linger longer than they would in younger individuals. And don't forget about exercise, or the lack of it. Many older adults struggle with mobility, and physical activity tends to decrease with age. A more sedentary lifestyle can contribute to changes in metabolism, sweat, and ultimately, body odor. Part 6. Cultural Perspectives on Aging and Odor When we talk about the scent of the elderly, we're not just talking about biology. We're talking about how society views it. Cultural perspectives on aging are all over the map. In some cultures, aging is revered, and older people are seen as wise and respected. In others, aging is something to be hidden or even avoided. Unfortunately, in many Western societies, aging often gets a bad rap. We associate getting older with decline, weakness, and yes, unpleasant smells. But why? It's a part of life. We all age, so why do we stigmatize it? The elderly smell isn't just a biological issue. It's a social one. We have to challenge the way we think about aging and shift the narrative. Instead of seeing aging as something negative or embarrassing, we should embrace the wisdom and experience that comes with it. Part 7. Myths and Misconceptions There are a ton of myths surrounding aging and body odor, and it's time to bust them wide open. One of the biggest myths is that the smell of older people is the result of poor hygiene. That couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, many elderly people are incredibly diligent about their hygiene. But no matter how well they care for themselves, their bodies are still going through natural, inevitable changes that cause those smells. Another misconception? That all older people smell the same. The truth is, everyone's body chemistry is unique. Not all elderly individuals will have this distinctive smell, and many factors, like diet, medications, and overall health, affect how we smell as we age. Part 8. The Importance of Empathy and Respect Now that we understand the science, it's time to talk about something equally important. Empathy. Think about it. Aging is tough. 
It comes with physical, emotional, and mental challenges. So why should we add more shame or discomfort because of a natural body odor? Respect for the elderly is so important. They've lived through a lifetime of experiences and deserve our compassion. That distinctive smell is simply a product of aging. Nothing more, nothing less. It's a reminder that the elderly deserve care, dignity, and understanding, not judgment or avoidance. Part 9. How We Can Help and Improve Quality of Life So what can we do to help? First, we can support the elderly in maintaining a healthy lifestyle, regular exercise, a balanced diet, and proper hygiene. But we also need to support them emotionally. We need to remove the stigma surrounding aging and odor. There are products out there, like special lotions and deodorants, designed to help with the body odor changes that come with aging. But ultimately, it's about making sure that the elderly feel respected, comfortable, and loved. They may not be able to control their body odor, but we can control how we treat them. Part 10. Conclusion. A new perspective on aging. So, what's the takeaway here? Aging isn't something to be ashamed of. It's a natural part of life that we all go through. The smell that often accompanies aging is simply a byproduct of biological changes, and it shouldn't define how we view older adults. Next time you encounter someone with that elderly smell, remember, it's just part of the aging process. Instead of turning your nose up or avoiding it, consider it a reminder to offer more empathy, more understanding, and more respect to those who've lived through so much. As we all age, we'll eventually face these changes ourselves. So let's choose to look at aging through a lens of dignity and care, rather than judgment. After all, we're all getting older, and that's something to embrace, not hide from.